right. So this is video is going to help with uh, this is my math lab section seven point seven number twenty nine. Um, with the quadratic formula, we have a special scenario where if we're given what's called standard form, and standard form is where I have a coefficient in front of the x squared, I have a coefficient in front of the x, and I have a constant c, and the equation is all set equal to zero, or essentially everything is on the left hand side, or everything's on one side, and the equation is set equal to zero then I'm able to pull out some quantities and those quantities are a which is the coefficient out in front of x squared which is 5 b which is the coefficient out in front of x which in this case will keep the negative sign and call that negative 7 and c which is the constant coefficient the one that stands by itself at the end in this case it would be negative 3 with that then we now take our actual equation which someone has solved for us that you know this is given someone proved this formula would work um, it allows us to factor basically and find the values of x there would be two of them in this case two values of x so that this function will be equal to zero which essentially means that if I graph this function it would help me figure out where my function crosses the x-axis. So, start plugging that stuff in. This is a plug and chug problem at this point. So I start off and I have negative b. Well, I put the negative sign. It so happens that my b that I'm plugging in is negative 7. So it makes two negative signs right there. Plus or minus, and we'll talk about that later, that could be where our error is coming in. The square root of negative b quantity squared minus 4 times a times c all of that over 2 times a so now I start simplifying this let's start with the numerator at first we come across so a negative and a negative give me a positive plus or minus the square root negative 7 squared is 49 minus uh, that's gonna be 20 times 3 is negative 60 all over 10. Now keep on going here. Simplify another step. 7 plus or minus the square root. Two negatives. When I'm subtracting two negatives, I actually add. So I'm going to get 109 over 10. Now it really depends. I'm not sure where the, where the calculator left. I'm sorry, where the computer left this answer. Um, but at this point, basically what we have to realize is, is that we have 7 plus the square root of 109 over 10. And we have 7 minus the square root of 109 over 10. And if I wanted to try to take this further, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like I said, I, I didn't look at the answer. I just started working the problem. But if I want to take this further, I had to, now at this point, I'll change colors here. I would have to kind of figure out 109. I have to say, okay, if I take 109, is there a perfect square inside of 109? So I take 109 itself and I start factoring it. And let's see, uh, 2 doesn't go into it, 3 doesn't go into it. Let me grab my calculator. Let me hit pause here. And it appears that 109 is actually prime, so its only factors are 1 in itself. So my final answer is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit pause just for a minute. I'll be right back. Um, it came t to me to realize that it might be uh, plugging in was that out of trouble too. So keep in mind that when you are plugging it in, you should look something like this. I'm actually going to go ahead and go back and delete one and show you how I plugged it in. Um, so when I plug this in here, I actually press the fraction key first. I gave me my fraction. Then I typed in my 7 minus. I hit my square root symbol. Then I typed in 109. Then I went down to the bottom by arrowing. Oh, I didn't go down with the arrow, so I had to use my cursor. Click in the bottom box and type in my 10. So now when I check my answer, yeah, that must be what's going on here is Possibly that it's plugging the answer in and understanding what the solution looks like. Um, and my, you know, the videos that I have um, up to this point, if you've looked at any, they don't necessarily work the problem out that way. They they put it out maybe in decimal or just leave it as the plus or minus. So the computer definitely wants you to put it into this form right here um, using the buttons on the side. Please let me know if you need any more assistance.